Right. I'm getting carried away with these line and wash uh, drawings. And so I spent a bit of time just inventing this, of uh, an oast house and a um, bit of distant uh, farm buildings. Kent scene. Uh, for those in America or, or further, Kent is a, is a beautiful county of, of England and it, a southern county, southeast, and is called the Garden of England. L loads of fruit comes from here. And they used to uh, produce loads and loads of hops for beer making. And these were the, the drying sheds, but now they do it industrially. These are mostly now converted into, uh, into dwellings, holiday places. And they're very lovely. It's lovely to see some of them preserved. But uh, I don't think any of them are still working as, as hop drying kilns. Uh, so I did a pencil uh, design underneath this. This is very much experimental. I've not done, done anything quite as elaborate as this. Uh, I, I used the, 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 um, the black ink, waterproof ink, but I used a, a matchstick, sharper matchstick, stuck in a bit of uh, dowel. And when it wears out, I could, if I do more of these, I can just put it out and stick another one in and sharpen it. They make lovely drawing implements because you you don't get a flow of ink because you need a well you'd need a pen for that so i'll do uh, i'll keep this predominantly uh grays and uh, and burnt siennas and raw sienna there's my palette yesterday we used uh, loose paint straight from the tube on a much larger palette big mixing area but back to normal now i'll just clean the yellow off of there this has got too much paint away on it Right, so uh, lemon yellow, I won't use all these colours. Lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, uh, ultramarine, burnt umber, Payne's grey and burnt sienna. So wet the paper all over. I hope the ink's dry. You do need to check because it takes longer to dry than you think. And there's nothing worse than dragging back paint over your paper. You can use brushes and all sorts with, uh, like I said, that's gone a bit. A bit uh, strange there. Let's drag the paint in, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be on a dark, darkish roof. This is a tiled, tile hung round tower, turret, where they used to hang the hops and the, they would dry by air and funnel up through. Let's get over there. So, burnt sienna now. Hairs out. I was going to use my new hake for this. I, I, I don't want to get too much of this on uh, the buildings. This is the uh, these are ploughed fields. We have some fun texturing those to make them look a bit authentic. So now we'll have uh, some grey and burnt sienna, I think. Oh, that's a very simple sky. There's a bit of ultramarine in there, I think. Grey and ultramarine, just to... The sky's a bit like today. Plenty of light in the sky, but overcast. A bit rainy. Now soak up the paper. The congregate of the bottom. Painting up like like this is not the ideal angle for watercolour painting, but for demonstrating it's almost essential. I'll just flatten that. Right, I'll uh, I'll give that a bit of a dry. Uh, 
now I'm going to put in the, uh, the background. I'm going to use a bit of the sky colour, a bit of, bit of blue, a bit of, bit of sienna. And I'll paint around the buildings. white showing I'm going to put a row of a skyline of trees over this to give some idea of distance. And these are supposed to be uh, winter apple trees, winter with no foliage. So I, I, I do prefer painting winter landscapes. I like to see the trees. I get lost in the trees. Right now, that I'll just give that a bit of a. Well, I can paint something in, in, in the bottom of that just to thicken it up, just to show something on, the, on that horizon there. Just the blue and the umber. Uh, sorry, the blue and the sienna. Burnt sienna. So as I put this on, you'll see that the ink loses its intensity, the contrast between the white and the black. That's just a, come a bit too far there, I'll clean that off. Right, let's give that a dry. I'll, I'll quickly put in this uh, landscape. I'd like to try to dry brush this a burnt, burnt umber. Uh, Oh dear, getting confused with my Payne's Grey now. Payne's Grey, burnt sienna. So let's just dry it. Let's dry it. Some warm in there. I'll put some texture in that. Now here I'm going to put a bit more colour in there. So it's cutting some lines, I saw the raw sienna with that. coming out. That, just to carry on doing what I was doing. See, that's why I'm a bit loath to get rid of this brush yet because you've got this lovely knife edge now and you can do this fine stuff which you couldn't do with the uh, thick. Now I'm going to put a bit of green in that far field there, that bluey green, so, but light, raw sienna, a bit of, bit of blue. This side, so we'll dark flowers.
Oh, what about this one? Oh, I've had this years. I've just put my wheel or my roller chair over my 30 degree square. Look at that. I've chopped the top off. Oops. I've had that for 40, over 40 years when I was a draftsman. I use that. Oh, finally split. Oh, terrible. Oh, so we can do the same here, yeah, but not too obvious. Just a few in. Just to show. Something going on there. I have to go. So painting with just a few colours, it gives a, 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 a unity rather than everything competing with everything else. So we'll put a nicer darks in here. Let's put that in, a bit of blue in there, I think, a bit of red. Get that a little bit wet. And I'll, with my card, I'll just scrape out some pebbles in the rough. for that. Now I'm going to go in for those uh, the buildings. I we'll use my half inch flat for that. Uh, now the roofs are sort of uh, well they're tiled so we'll have them a bit of red and a bit of well actually you know let's let's just stick to the sienna. And where I blacked there show for bits of or oh, clumps of tiles missing off off of the roof and you now I'll clean the brush and I'll just carefully re-wet that roof there on the oast house and a bit of a bit of bluey grey on the top Now we'll put in some some of this. So I like coming from here, so we'll just stick on that side. Just putting some dark on that side so that it looks as if it's going to the light. But I'm not sure if that's uh, working yet. No, let's just put, put some more there. Right, that's better. Now, clean brush. Okay. 
to uh, put some dark, darker grey for a shadow on one side of that. Um, there. And that would be a cool casting shadow in there. And that will do for that. Um, Now a, f a faint uh, blue on there, I think. No, it works so a bluey sort of sienna. Just to show that there and a bit in there. That's all I'm going to do with that. I'm going to leave that front a bit white. Now I wanted to just clean that off there. some shadow under the eaves under there and under there okay now let that dry of sienna and, and the grey, the blue, Into that, I'm going to draw some spindly sort of trees, I think. Uh, um, I should wait for that to dry a little bit. So I'll just do those in blue. Plenty of water for, for these. But fairly, fairly faint, just a bit darker. But, um, no, these will be coming up from, from here. Coming up from behind those. How those barns. Okay, going right. Oops. Into that kind of piece, so it just just show a little bit. These might not show up very clearly on the on the video, but we'll uh, just strengthen them just a little bit. Here. 
This is just the back backdrop to the painting. Oops. Now I reckon I could just put in some tiny little harder ends of the apple trees and then so I can probably put some uh, a couple of bird's nests or something with a bit of a bit of stipple in there or something all. Dry the brush. to uh, sign that and put it in a mount and we'll have a look to see what we've done. It always looks better in a mouse, it gives you an idea of what it would look like if, if it was ever in a frame. Right, there we are. Let's uh, zoom in on that. Oops. Alright, let's start from there. Go across. Very simple. Just those apple trees. All of us, a couple of buildings there, farm buildings. Another tree to block it on the right. Come up to the canopy of uh, the distant trees. I've left the cowl off the top of the oast house. Now this is what I've done for the foreground. All very quickly done. Right, come back, let's zoom out. Right, I, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.